Hi there, my name is George, my call sign is EI7 Kilo Oscar. In this video we're going to have a quick look at the XLR connector and explain the ins and outs of that to you if you're not very familiar with them. Chances are most people, while they may not be familiar with them, will actually have seen one before. So I'll uh, explain to you uh, in as simple terms as I can what it's all about. Okay, so where do we find XLRs most commonly uh, most commonly used in uh, microphone applications? And uh, we have t uh, two different types. This is a male XLR, which you can see has the male pins. And then we have a female, which has the three sockets. So, uh, where did the XLR come from? The XLR connector was invented by a gentleman called James H. Cannon of the Canon Electric Company in Los Angeles, California, sometime around 1950. And, uh, you know, he, he came up with this. There's a few different explanations as to why it's called an XLR, but the one that makes the most sense to me is because uh, he designated it an X-series connector when he came up with it first. And then when he came up with the locking mechanism here on the female, which is where the L comes from. This is a, a cheap copy um, of a female connector, so it's actually missing the rubber ring. But if you were to look at a Nutrick one, I don't actually have one here, but a Nutrick connector uh, would have a rubber ring around here which is where the R comes from and the idea of that is when it's plugged in the ring seals around the socket where it's plugged in to keep any dirt or dust or anything out so that's where the XLR comes from so we'll have a look at the male one here and this is a, a new trick connector as you can see and new trick made some considerable uh, design improvements to this connector um, you can see with the knockoff one it's got these screw type cable clamp which uh, were known to kind of open up and fall off and all sorts of things so new trick have it that uh, it's a plastic cover that unscrews like that and your cable just squeezes through the hole there it's kind of a uh, soft material that you can squeeze your cable in uh, then we have this cable grip stroke shield which stops the the pins this goes around the back of the inside where you solder on your wires and it stops it um shorting against this the, the shell so that's the that and then the actual pins that they, they come out in one piece like this and you can solder on to the back here so looking at the pin this way um, this is pin 1, which is the ground. Uh, this one beside it is pin 2, which is the audio plus. And this one here on the bottom is pin 3, which is the audio minus. On a balanced connection, you'd be using all three terminals. Uh, if you were using one of these in an unbalanced application, you would uh, link pins 1 and 3 together which you're tying the audio minus to the ground which unbalances it and uh, do that at the end where you require it to be unbalanced so that's the uh, you can see there you can solder on I just get rid of that lad and it should focus they're kind of done the same way as a microphone plug for your radio you fill those little pockets up with solder and you solder in your wires then uh, it's marked on the back of it here and on the front it'll show you where, which one is which which is pin you can see it there just about one three and two and uh, it's also marked on the inside there as well pin three uh, it's hard to see it let's get the light or I can it's hard to see that see pin one and pin two on the top there so that's how you know which pin is which regardless of which direction you're looking at the the connector from so 
Uh, where else can we see them used? Um, we'll see them used on microphones. We'll see them used on stage lights. Um, switch mode power supplies. Power amplifiers. Um, big speakers for music and things like that. Um, we'll see them all connected together with XLR connectors. So there we have it. And then the female one is the same. And the only exception is you have three sockets instead of three pins. Uh, and the direction of flow would always be this way. So you have your female socket. Let's put this one back together. Get in there. So the direction of flow is always this way. From female to male. It always flows that way. That's the direction of travel of the uh, of these types of connectors. So just the way it works. You'd have your microphone this end and it'd plug into your preamp or your mixer or whatever on this end. So that's a, a brief little video about the XLR connector and uh, I hope you find that useful or if uh, see you can plug the two of them together you can hear it lock. You can see the pin so you can actually connect the two together that way if you want as well. And uh, I hope you find that of some use. And thanks for watching. My name is George. My ham radio call sign is EI7 Kilo Oscar.